Rolls-Royce is involved in a number of projects, or leading a number of projects in hybrid electric and full electric propulsion. One which we've announced today is Electroflight, which is an all electric demonstrator, and I personally lead the EFANX demonstrator, which is a large hybrid electric demonstrator. EFANEXT is a partnership between Rolls-Royce Siemens and Airbus to deliver a groundbreaking hybrid electric demonstrator in the region of 2 megawatt class. Rolls-Royce's part of this is delivering a 2 megawatt power generation system and also an electric propulsor unit which sits under the wing. Airbus is delivering 2 megawatts of batteries and Siemens is delivering a 2 megawatt motor which powers our electric propulsor unit. So hybrid electric aircraft specifically means that you have more than one source of power, one of them being an electrical source of power. So whereas today we have kerosene burning engines, in the future, in the hybrid electric world, we will have kerosene and electric power installed on board as well. So Rolls-Royce's intelligent engine vision is the future of aviation propulsion, bringing together services, technology and products. Our passengers will benefit from travelling a hybrid electric aircraft by travelling on quieter aircraft, potentially from smaller airfields. We're aiming to fly in 2020, which is a really ambitious timescale. It's a very short timescale for aerospace, and we're really trying to demonstrate first that this is possible. Then we'll try and move on to developing an aircraft which will actually better take the technology that we're developing. My proudest the thing about working on EFAN X is how Rolls-Royce has all come together to deliver this demonstrator. I'm using civil aerospace, defence aerospace, parts of our marine business, uh, even naval marine. So it really is taking the might of Rolls-Royce to deliver this demonstrator and using our expertise from across our entire business. What's next for EFAN X is to demonstrate our world's largest flying generator. It's a two and a half megawatt permanent magnet generator and we're aiming to test it on the ground before the end of this year.